Hello, my dear grade 5 students, and welcome to Alman School Educational English uh, Channel. Um, today's lesson uh, is about animals. It's a reading lesson. But before we start, let me ask you a question. Do you love pets? Do you have pets at home? And if you have pets, have you ever thought of these pets, right? Have you ever thought in general in animals, right? Can you think for just one minute? We all know that we have human rights, but have you ever thought that animals have rights too? I'll let you think for one minute and I expect answers from you. Good job. Yes. Who can tell me the first thing about animals' rights? As humans, we should protect animals. Good job. We should protect animals. And what else? We should provide food for them. Excellent. And what's number three? We should provide habitat for them, good habitat for them. All right. Before we start, look at the picture. What is this guy doing? What is this guy doing? Think. Yes. Good job. He's writing something. What do you think he's writing? Huh? Yes. Maybe he's doing a research on animals and he's having an interview he's interviewing um, this guy what this man's job? what do you think? yes, good he may be a zookeeper or a zoologist so, where are they? where are these guys standing? yes, good maybe it's at the zoo or at the national park. What animals can you see? What is this animal with long neck? Yes, it's a zarafa or giraffe. Good. And what are the other animals with the horn? This one is called rhino or rhinoceros. Rhino or rhinoceros. So, what do you expect our lesson would be today? Good, surely it will be about animals. But what animals? What type of animals? Today, inshallah, we're going to talk, to talk about endangered species of animals. Endangered species of animals. Can you tell me some of the animals that are endangered? But before, before that, I'm sure you know the difference between extinct and endangered animals. I need to think for just a minute. Do you know the difference between endangered and extinct animals? Yes, let's start with extinct animal. Excellent, good job. Endangered animals are animals that present in few numbers, or in other words, animals that are likely to be extinct in the near future. Right? So, what about extinct animals? If we didn't take care of these endangered animals, if we didn't pay attention to this problem and try to protect them, these animals in the near future will be extinct. What does it mean extinct? Extinct animals are animals that no longer live on Earth or animals that disappeared for, for the last 50 years or more. Can you give me an example of these animals? Have you ever heard of dinosaurs? I'm sure you watch a lot of movies about dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are extinct animals that disappeared millions of years ago. Right? So now, I want you to skim the reading text for two minutes. And what I want you to do is to get the drift or the whole idea and try to get any difficult uh, words from the context. Alright, I give you two minutes for that start. Alright, 
good job. After skimming, I want you to read these questions. Alright? I want you to read these questions first and then start scanning, scanning the reading text for specific details. And put in mind these questions to find answers in the text. Alright? You have three minutes for that? Good job. And now let's listen to the reading text and try to find the answer for that question. For that question. Why are tigers endangered animals? Listen and pay attention. You can follow up in the book, in your book, it's page 82, lesson 5. Listen and read. Why are tigers endangered animals? Is that true? What that mentioned? 
No. That's why I don't know the correct answer. Because they didn't tell us this piece of information of information in the text. Number four, there aren't any endangered reptiles. Now, what did they answer? Do you remember when I told you that there are some uh, species of uh, reptiles like lizards, turtles, uh, are endangered in North America? Yes. That means there aren't any endangered reptile that's false. Alright? There are only 3,200 North American lizards left on our planet. Do you remember that number? 3,200? What about tigers? That's the number that's left on Earth of tigers. So I guess they didn't tell us any numbers in the text about lizards. So I don't know the correct answer. Good. Number six, we can support organizations to help protect animals in danger of extinction. What should we do to solve this problem? We should have a role. There are organizations that help animals and provide the habitat for them to protect them from being uh, extinct. What should we do? We should support. We should support this organization. That's true. Um, number seven. Ruby, the guy who was writing, Ruby wants to help endangered animals. I don't remember anything about that. The text didn't tell us about that. No, it's wrong. So, two. Of course, all of us wants to help animals. And I'm sure you too wants to help animals. So, let's go back here to your project. Right? Alright, so after this lesson, I guess you know that we have a big problem, a big world problem. What's the problem concerning animals? That there are some endangered animals. And what's it to us? What's it to us if some animals are endangered? We are living, we live on the same planet and we use animals. So animals are important for us. And animals are important for environmental balance. Why are, import, are animals important for us? Because we eat animals, we use animals for transportation, and animals are important in environmental balance. So, now all of us know the problem. What should we do to solve the problem? What should we do to solve the problem? Before we solve the problem, we should know the causes that lead to extinction. The causes that lead um, for some animals to be endangered. What is the first problem? I guess the first problem, and all of you know that, is hunting. Hunting. Some hunters hunt animals in big numbers because these animals are sold um, for too much money. Like the tiger's fair, which is very beautiful, and the youth tiger's uh, fair. So, what should we do to to, to help to stop that. We should stop, uh, the government should drive laws to stop hunting. Also, we should stop pollution, because pollution kills animals. What else? Maybe the cause of this problem, one of the causes is a low rate, birth rate of animals. And one important point is deforestation, because cutting trees and removing forests kill animals. They have to move to to look uh, for another habitat and they, they leave their homes. Now you know the reason for these problems. What should you do? What should you do to help animals? I want you to do a research project. All of you have internet at home. So search the internet for more endangered animals. Write a research paper on at least three more species. Now uh, we have some information about the tigers, panda, and lizard and tortoises. So I want you to learn other more animals, uh, more other animals that are endangered. I want you to pick up three of them and write a research paper on, on at least three more spe species of endangered animals and causes for being endangered. What are the reasons? What are the causes that led them uh, to be endangered? 
also write your suggestion. Now you are responsible in the government in your country. Or you are a zoologist and you want to solve that problem. Write your suggestions. What do you think you can do on how to protect those species from extinction? Your research paper should be at least 50 words. I hope by the end of our lesson today, you know well the problem of, ext uh, of endangered animals, the difference between uh, endangered and extinct animals, and how can we solve that problem, and how that problem can affect the environment. I hope you enjoyed our lesson today. Thanks for watching me. Please, before I leave you, stay safe and have fun. And I'm waiting for any question for you. Um, I'll be there for you all the time. Thank you and goodbye.